For, these, for you that don't know who I am, I'm Andy, uh, Draftman1, or uh, Madman as they call me on the combat forums. Uh, I've been building spats for about a year and a half. Uh, we've been back into RC for about a year and a half. Um, I've had a lot of luck with these, me and my two boys. Um, crashed a lot of them, built a lot of them, developed a lot of them, just had a good time at it. Um, here was the first round course, first round fuselage plane I did, the Corsair. Uh, it was a really fun flyer. Um, started out as a tube. And I figured out how to get the taper in it you know, with the turtle deck. It's all round. The formers are inside are round. The front's round. Uh, I don't have a wing to show you at the moment. I'll have that. I'll be doing this build next. A lot of requests for that. Working on. It's close to the Bearcat. It has an oval front. And it's all the same all the way back, and it does the natural taper. But it's also a mid wing. So I did the same thing. I've got the formers that are cut, that's flat here for the wing to sit on. And we have the wing here. So as you can tell, it's as close to about a mid wing as we can get. A fake fuselage here on the bottom. So I'm really excited about getting this one done. It's going to be fun. P47. It got it was in a midair, so it's kind of banged up. This is a little bit different. Started out with a firewall that was straight with round on top and the bottom. And started going back from there. So this middle part, there's no flutes cut out. They're cut out here and here with the turtle deck. I put a flat bottom on it to make, simplify it a little bit. Um, sliced out the end so it kind of rolls over a little bit more, trying to give it a more curved shape. Um, so, and it, again, this one wasn't really difficult at all. I took the Great Plains canopy, made a little vacuum box, and made my own canopy. It fit perfect on there. So a lot of times we can find canopies and cowlings that will fit from other from commercially available planes. So anyway, that's about it now. Okay, now on to the rest of the wing. I'm wipe it down a little bit, get a little dust off of it. It's already scored. Pull it over. Okay, flash everything up. put the glue on the aileron and on the tips I'll squirt some glue in there later and then put some clamps on there don't really worry about those right now fold it over start stacking bricks on it put three on this far use a piece of scrap it helps keep the brick level I set the brick about a half inch onto the Top material. That's it. I'll stitch these up later. I'll make some square picture frames for the servos. I'll put a piece of uh, downspout on the front and the back for the rubber bands so you don't bend the coro. Cut the ailerons out. And we'll be done. So here you can see the ailerons 
follow the curve around. Gives it the scale look. Here's the picture frames with the servo mounted in it. PVC horns. And plastic bracing. And that's all there is to this wing. Um, that'll pretty much complete the build. I don't need to go into to installing servos and stuff. But um, I wanted to show you how to do the round core, the round fuselage. That, that was the biggest thing. And um, we'll get on the next build here shortly.